Welcome back to Always Audrey. I have been dying to do this video and I'm so excited it's finally done. Today I'm going to give our space a complete makeover for less than $100. I know it's completely unheard of, but we're gonna make it happen. So if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notified and never miss a video. I have hit the jackpot when it comes to sisters. Not only are they my best friends, but one of them is an interior designer and she is always giving me the best tips. Her whole purpose with designing is to give everybody a chance to make their own space feel super luxe and amazing. So I'll link her Instagram down below in case you guys are interested in getting some inspiration from her page and her feed. It's really amazing. So definitely check that out. But one of the tips that she gave me was to switch the rugs. We added different bedding in our bedroom and the rug in there was just kind of sort of dueling patterns with um, the new quilt that we added. So she said, go ahead and switch it up. And we did, and it looks so much better. But guys, the process was kind of funny. And if you are interested, definitely stay tuned till the end. There is a funny blooper and you do not want to miss it. A classic cliche, we're on the run. This is what we waited for. So our bed is a king size bed or a cow king, and it's really big and heavy. And it has um, several legs, so it has the bed post um, on each side, but then it also has middle posts. And so that's what we're trying to battle with here and just getting that rug to slide underneath that. Patience is not my superpower and I definitely should have rolled the rug instead of trying to just kind of toss it around. So I definitely recommend if you're switching or moving rugs around, roll them up. It's just the best way to do it. But I'm so lucky. My brother-in-law is amazing and really strong and him and my husband together were able to move everything around. I have no upper body strength like whatsoever, except for whatever I get from carrying Lucy around. So it was super helpful to have their help on this day and just kind of rearranging everything. I've always wanted to have a bedroom that looks like a hotel where it's just super relaxing. You look at the bed and just want to climb in under the covers and everything is sort of bright. And we are so lucky we have the most amazing natural light from our windows, which is great, but it was time to switch things up and just take advantage of the light and make it as nice as possible. I am so happy that we got this done. You guys are not going to believe the after. Next, we moved into the living room where we had to sort of move all the couches and furniture around and get that rug rolled up and ready to move into our bedroom. If you guys like these rugs, I'm going to link similar ones down below. I got this living room one from overstock.com, but I know a lot of different retailers sell it as well. Um, and then I got the bedroom one from living spaces i'm not sure if they still carry it but if they don't i'll link a similar one down below um, that way if you guys want to get a similar look in your own space you can do so so check out the description box for all those links you guys my face is in this video i cannot i don't even know i blame my sister because she's hilarious and was making me laugh the entire time so i definitely recommend grabbing some friends and family to help you with the process because they make it go by so much faster and it's just a lot of fun also please note that there is a giant mess in every single room as we're doing this and that's because moving things around does create a mess it always looks worse before it gets better but i promise it is so well worth it don't let that stop you if you're wanting to switch things up 
do it. It's so worth it. The reward is just amazing. You guys, my husband and I do not speak the same language. Not literally, we do both speak English, but we don't always understand each other and so sometimes it takes a long time to explain things so i'm sparing you the like five to ten minutes it took for him to explain how he wanted me to roll this over and my poor brother-in-law had to just stand there and just watch the madness but we finally figured out what each other meant and we started the process the best thing to do was for me to just step out and let them work their magic so I do step back in and it is quite funny. At one point I disappear completely under the bed and then coming out is so hard. I was laughing like crazy. I couldn't even get out. So my husband had to come and pull me out by my legs. It was just really funny. So definitely stay tuned till the end to catch that blooper. It's well worth it. So this rug was actually one of the first things that we bought when we first moved into the house and we really liked it a lot. The price was amazing. I think it was like under $200 and it was just perfect for us at the time, but it was time for a switch and I really like how it looks in our bedroom. It made everything in here really just sort of bright and airy and I really like it. Also, if there were any areas where there were stains, it was hidden under the bed, which is nice. It's like getting a whole new rug, even though it didn't cost us a dime. So I'll show you later on in the video where we did spend some money, but switching the rugs cost us nothing and it made the biggest difference. So here I go bracing myself to climb under the bed and finish rolling out this rug. Like I said, there are legs underneath the bed and so moving it around was actually kind of difficult, but crawling under really did help, even though it meant disappearing for a few seconds and laughing like crazy because my sister thought it was the funniest thing and she was just making me laugh so hard. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this. I post new content every week. I do tons of cleaning motivation, mommy vlogs, and so much more. So join the fam and hit subscribe. Also, I'd love to connect with you and hear from you in the comments down below or connect on social media. I'll leave my Instagram down below in case you guys want to be friends and stay connected. I'd love to meet you. Changing the rugs in the living room was a lot easier because the furniture in there is so much easier to move than a big giant bed. So here is what the rug looks like without any of the furniture around. We just kind of laid it down to see what it looks like. Then moving things around. Don't forget to vacuum and mop or just pick up any dust that you see when you are switching furniture. This is the best time to do it because your space is clear. So definitely take advantage, clean all the cobwebs, any dust or debris that you find under there, it's the best time to get it done. If you've seen our other videos, you know how much we love our Dyson. It has all these cool attachments. So here my husband is using the smaller one. This is meant for like mattresses and couches, but we love it for detailed work. Have you guys seen the episode on Friends when they're trying to move Ross's couch and he's just yelling pivot? This whole scene just reminded me of that and it was so funny but I really enjoyed getting through it. It was so fun to get all of this done. 
I'm excited here because we are going to try out some new pillows that I had bought a few weeks back. Here is our coffee table, which we already owned, and this is from World Market. I really like it. I love the stain, but also I like that it's pretty kid-friendly. Um, in fact, we're able to store Lucy's toys underneath in some baskets, which was so nice. And now on to the fun part, which is just rearranging pillows, getting all of those decorative accents added in. Time for some ambiance. I love candles and fresh flowers in a room. I think it makes the space look immediately brighter and just full of life. So I added some hydrangeas, one of my favorite candles, and just enjoyed the new space. I love how this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The only money we spent were on the pillows, which I'll link down below. Those are from Home Goods and Target. And then I have one on our bedroom too, which I'll show you in a second. And that one is from CB2, which is an amazing store. I always get tons of inspiration from them. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me. I really appreciate it. And now for some bloopers. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.